A Rogue Valley Hospital is leading the way nationwide when it comes to performing a particular type of catheterization. Now it's about to make that experience not only better for doctors, but patients as well. Newswatch 12's Randa Gore explains why new technology is playing a key role and what patients have to look forward to. More than 2,000 cardiac catheterization procedures are performed every year here in the Rogue Valley. Those reasons ranging from chest pain to even heart attack. But the traditional method for the procedure going through the groin, and as you can imagine, not the most pleasant thing to be feeling. But recently, doctors have been straying away from that method and starting to insert the catheters through the wrist just right here instead. This is where we would um, make a very small incision and put our catheter right in this artery right here. Providence Medford Medical Center is using an approach called radial first. Our approach here at uh, Providence is to do a catheterization through the wrist whenever possible. This process is more comfortable and safer for patients according to doctors. They can sit up immediately. They can sit up in bed and eat immediately after a procedure. They can get up and go to the bathroom and not have to lay flat, and that's the main thing. Before, when doctors would perform the cardiac catheterization procedure through the groin, patients had to stay lying flat on their backs for four to six hours, a difficult recovery process. The nurses uh, having to remind them constantly not to move their legs, not to sit up, not to bend their legs and hips and so forth. The Rogue Valley is leading the way when it comes to radial catheterization. At Asante, nearly 700 were performed just last year. And at Providence, more than 60% of its cardiac catheterization procedures are radial. This compared to the nationwide average of 20%. Patients recovering from the radial catheterization at Providence currently sit in these chairs in case by sliding glass doors for two to three hours before going home. But that won't be the case for much longer. I will be remodeling that area, taking out the glass and that real hospital feel and making it feel like a lounge. This year, all of the funds from the Festival of Trees will go to remodel that short stay unit. And this is a sneak peek at what that new radio lounge is going to look like. Putting in some nice furniture, redoing the flooring, removing some walls so that it's more open and comfortable. The total cost of the project is estimated at $400,000. Last year, the Festival of Trees brought in $438,000, so hospital officials say they should be on the safe side when it comes to funding that new project. The remodeling will start promptly after the Festival of Trees, and there is no timeline for the completion quite yet. Live in the newsroom, Randa Gore, Newswatch 12.